Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks, and I am here today with a special exclusive Toys R Us building event item. Now this one is incredibly special because there is no really amount of pieces to it. There's no minifigures per se, although there is half of a minifigure. Um, there's no age, there's no price obviously because it's a free event. This is something that um, was available on June 14th, 2014. Basically, it's inspired by the LEGO Movie, and you get to build your own Master Builder. This has no set of instructions, but this is the way that they show you just a couple examples. As they say here, examples that can be created, use your imagination and building skills to create your own Master Builder model. Um, the way they laid it out, they had a whole bunch of tables, but most of the tables in my store um, were just for building. And all the pieces were in the middle in small boxes, um, no really big assortment between them as far as like this is for this pile and this is for this pile. It just had them on all different uh, piles and you just grab pieces, you build something and then you take it home. So there's, uh, you know, it can be a variation as far as what pieces you have and I'm just going to review these three models as best as I can build them and then try to make my own using the pieces that I got. So first we'll go over some of the promotional stuff. This actually was um, I was actually lucky to get this so I could look at all the models and try to build them clearly. This was available to everyone. You can see the Lego Movie is out January, uh, June 17th. And they also show you the Master Club code on the back to rate today's event. Personally, I think it was kind of hectic in my store. And it was very hard for people to get the pieces and what pieces they were trying to grab. I saw maybe 10 hands on a single box trying to grab different pieces. And there's a box in the center of the table, and the table is kind of wide, so it's hard to get the pieces. Um, this is the small bag that I put all the pieces in, just like any other building event. And there was also, these were available for, you know, picking up. You can get the DVD and Blu-ray in store 617, um, pre-ordered today, and there's a coupon on the bottom for the LEGO Movie video game. I can't really use those um, coup I can't use this coupon because I already bought the game. So now we'll take a look at the pieces in my new Chima case. I actually got this for sale at two dollars, and I put all the pieces in here. I tried to build some of the figures, some of them so far. These are the pieces as best as I can get them. Uh, there are not all the pieces that they had available. There will be a few that I need to. Um, recreate from my own collection, but most of the pieces are kind of common, except the ball joints are probably the more unique ones. The small ball joints are also available there. They had the small gear, which was very nice to get, and they had the new, kind of a new hair piece. Um, from what I've been told online, the hair piece has actually been used before for Padme in her episode 2 variant with the gunship from last year. So it's not a new piece, but it's still a hard piece to get, and to get it for free, that's amazing. So now we'll take a closer look at the models. We'll start from the right and go to the left. So here we have the first Master Builder model. Now as you can tell, for each of these, they are inspired by Metal Beard, and basically you get to build a small mech with the head of a minifigure on top. Uh, this small one is the only one that is shown to be a female. And it's actually, you know, pretty easy and pretty cool to build. Um, you can see all the ball joints. The larger ones are used for the legs, so you can move those around in different positions. And then you have the small ones that are used for the arms. And you can even make all different kinds of poses with her. Let's see if we can... Oh, that fell apart. Um, these two pieces in here I used to recreate it. These are from home. I can't... I didn't get a chance for the cylindrical version of that piece. Um, you can also spin the torso around if you wanted to. So it's got a lot of action, even if you're trying to make the smallest of these. And it's also got a little bit of detail on the back, as far as I can tell. This is a little, I guess, it's either a light or a jetpack or whatever you want it to be. It's, you know, this building event is definitely encouraging imagination. So, wow, that holds up really well for posing it. I really like this. And also, I wanted to mention, this minifigure has a double-sided face. It's, all, it's actually, the female one is the only one that has a double-sided face of the minifigure heads available. There are only two of them. 
But it's really nice that we get two different faces, we get a lot of posability, and you can see it's got great balance. So let's check out the next figure. So from the paper in the beginning, this is the middle model. It actually looks pretty large compared to what I thought it would look. And I can't really tell what it looks like from the back because it only shows you one image of it. So this is as best as I can do for now. It's got a rotating waist, which is nice, just like the others. And this is as best as I can do for the back. But I'm sure you could jazz it up a little bit with other pieces. This one uses the boy minifigure head. It's got a lot of... Um, it's got actually a little bit more in terms of ball joints on the arms. So you could have a lot of poses with this. And it also has different feet. So let's see how this one holds up in terms of balance. Wow, that's pretty good. I like the size of it. I like how it has, you know, these little lasers um, added on. And luckily, I was worried that the weight, that the lasers that actually be in the way of the arm's movement it actually works pretty well. You can still move it around a lot of different ways and, you know, still have a lot of fun with it. Um, if you want, by the way, you know what, I'll mention it at the end as far as um, little detail about this little set. So let's get on to the third model. And here we have the final build, the one that is first on the, on the left from the beginning. Now, unfortunately, I was only missing one piece from this, and other than the ones that I could replace, this one I cannot. It was the small arm joint, or, you know, mid-leg joint, and I can't really make the foot that well, so I do apologize. Um, I just couldn't get to it. So, as far as this model goes, it actually has a really cool style to it. I really like how the, the top area... Uh, is made. It reminds me a little bit of Metal Beard up there. Um, and unfortunately, though, with that, you know, little inclusion on the top, you can't move the arms up that high. So you have to move them sideways and then move them up like this. So it limits the range of motion, and sometimes this piece falls off. Um, but it limits the range of motion for the arms. Most of it's going to be in this area, a little bit up here, and maybe some down there, but the feet could get in the way. Now, the feet are posable, but, you know, this one's not going to be able to pose that much. Uh, this one can move in different directions with the small ball joints. This entire model doesn't have any of the large ones as the previous ones did, so it makes it seem like a smaller model. And I think it probably is a smaller model compared to the last one. I like how the arms have these two blasters on the side. That's a very cool idea. And having this vent piece in the middle is kind of cool. Both vent pieces, I mean. And as far as I can tell for the back, they had a gear here. As you can see, a very small uh, bit of it. A very small bit from the, from the paper in the beginning. It's very hard to tell, but there is a gear in the back of there. So it gives it a little bit more detail. And if not, you know, you could always build something else. So this looks okay for a small model. I, you know, I like the construction of it. Uh, I think I forgot a piece on the bottom. One of those round pieces. So, let me just fit that on real quick. Silly me. Because I was worried that the legs would fall apart, but it was only at my own fault. So, as far as, you know, building this one, I can't build it entirely because I don't have that leg piece. But otherwise, it's a really cool looking model. And now let's try to build something on my own. So here we have my own model. This is my mock, I guess. Um, from what I could build with the only with the pieces from the building event Here's how it looks compared to a minifigure. So it's roughly two minifigures Maybe two and a half minifigures tall, which is pretty good size and most of the other ones They were roughly about two minifigures tall, too. I didn't actually measure them, but judging by the pieces um, They seem pretty, you know hefty, which is good. So you have like a, a you feel like you're building a something big um, with my model it's a little bit fragile and it's a little hard to keep standing because there are so many joints in the legs, small joints and large joints, that it's hard to actually stand it up. I was trying to go for something like a, a knee and then a bending knee and something like that, trying to make it, trying to make it look like it could walk, but it actually backfired on me because it's hard to stand up and pose. So here's a look at it from the other side, and you can see I put another turntable in here for making the wheel spin. Not essential, but, you know, I just had an extra one, so why not? You also have the torso twisting at the waist, which works out nicely. Although it sometimes does hit this just because the gear is moving around. Um, 
that I, you know, could be fixed. Not, you know, it's something I kind of built quickly. Um, you also have posability on the arms. You know, the ball joints can move to fire the lasers. And this piece has a jumper in the middle. So we can have it as an aircraft. This converts into a flying vehicle. That's a neat and kind of imaginative idea I just came up with as an excuse for putting that piece in there. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time with more LEGO Set Reviews.